on the form now now the, the same one on the investor uh, you know after uh, the underwriter reads them well the underwriter asks the form that what is the amount of capital you need right the form says roughly 30 thousand all right now underwriter knows that investors can afford the rupees 310 per share so he quotes the share price to be rupees 310 and the capital generated is rupees 31000 but the firm needs rupees 30000 and hence the commission of the saver or uh, the commission of sorry and the rider is rupees 31000 minus 30000 that is rupees 1000 right Now, if we move to the primary markets, there are IPO, FPO, and private placements. All right. Now, what are IPOs? Initial public offer, as the name suggests, the and the company issues the shares for the first time into the into the public domain. Then it's known as IPO. For example, uh, if I have a juice company and my uh, IPO. the face value and, and the, the 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 ipo comes out to be rupees 20 all right say i 100 shares are bought by three different players right 50 shares by one 40 by another and 10 by third one in the meantime my company grows and my share price grows to be 10 times to that of rupees 200 now no rupees the, the person who bought 50 shares since he invested a lot of money and i i need to incentivize his loyalty right so when again he asks for shares right so i give him a discount to rupees 50 from 200 i sell him rupees 150 all right now as far as the person who bought 40 shares all right since he invested a little less than 50 i gives him a little less discount of rupees 40 and sell him at rupees 160 and a person who brought 10 shares i give him his discount and he can purchase at a 5 rupees discount of rupees 195 okay so selling the selling the shares to existing shareholders by incentivizing for loyalty based on the <coughs> amount of shares they had purchased as ipo is known as fpo Now my company grows further, and the share price grows to be two thousand rupees. Now, apart from the public domain, the 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 SEBI also allows to sell these share to private placements, and these are of two types: the qualified institutional placements, okay. Where shares are directly sold to institutions with expertise and strength to invest in large markets, and we have the preferential share arena, where you know uh, big institutions like HDFC they purchase all the shares. Mind, they don't purchase all the share in order to own the company. but rather to make profits okay so when they purchase all the share they ask for discount because you needed money immediately so they suppose the share is rupees 2000 you give at rupees 1500 because they are buying all the shares okay but you and the hdfc sign a clause of buying back the shares at market price in future okay suppose the market price goes to rupees 3000 and you and hdfc you know 
they negotiated Rs. 2500 later. So this buying back option of shares is not with the equity shareholders. They are not there to take over as I have already told. HDFC is not there to take over but the ownership for the time being goes to HDFC. Alright. So here is all we have in proper format. The private placements. Two types. QIP and preferential shares. QIP was introduced in order to uh, not let the companies get in the hands of the foreign investors or let the foreign investors influence be at the bay and let the Indian domestic uh, you know investors invest here. Preferential shares as I have already told they buy all the shares but they ask for uh, discount. Alright, so that's all. Thank you.